Okay, so at the heart of digital arts and humanities are ideas around doing things differently and working collaboratively. So we decided that we were going to do this project collaboratively. Welcome to the Orla and Marie collaboration video. Uh, so we're doing this as part of our video to sort of combine what um, this course is all about, collaboration and doing things differently. And anyway, it's more fun to do it like this. Um, so we decided that Anne-Marie and myself would work on our video project together. And for me, I really like working with Anne-Marie because she has more IT skills than me and it makes me feel more comfortable when I'm trying to do something new to do so that with somebody who is technically more competent and it makes it more interesting project to do. So why we're doing this uh, collaboratively or why I like working collaboratively with Orla is because of the fact that I tend to get stuck in a thinking rut and Orla seems to be very um, very good at just moving things forward and getting them down on paper and getting them getting the ideas out of both our heads and it seems to accelerate the project forward more. So and so it, it's working for me, you know, it's a good sort of a, a balance. That's working for me at the moment. And um, some of the things we have to do as part of this course are really good, and I kind of feel like that they're kind of stretching me and making me do things that I haven't done before, and maybe I'm comfortable doing. Some of it I'm still a little bit concerned about. Um, blogging for the sake of blogging, I have reservations around. Um, a lot of things that I write, I don't necessarily want to put online, so. I suppose I'm still finding my way around that. I, you know, entered the world of Twitter reluctantly last week in the computer lab, so I'm trying it out, see how it goes. So one of the biggest things, one of the biggest issues I'm having about this course is the issue of privacy and having an online presence and therefore having um, a digital footprint and not really knowing what's being done with our data. And I spoke about it the other day in the presentation. Um, I do have an issue around privacy in that sense, and I'm hoping that I can explore that more throughout the the course of this course. Okay, so I suppose we're all doing this course so that we learn new things, and it gives us an opportunity to do some exciting work. Um, and but I suppose again, we have some queries around who owns that work at the end of the course. Does it belong to us? Does it belong to UCC? Are we free to do with it what we want? So those are some of the questions that are raised for us at the moment. So that's the end of our video. Thanks for listening. We're going to go now and edit this and make it look really nice for all of you. And we're going to do it collaboratively. Yahoo! <laughs>